Appreciate you guys having us. I will admit, I feel like a little bit of an outsider being a first Hamilton County School up here um, in the Cleveland Media Day, but this is a good event. We appreciate you guys having us. Um, it's been very well, very well run. And uh, so I brought four players up here. I got Zane James, um, our everything in the secondary, he plays corner, plays safety, plays slot receiver as well. Quillian Townsend, a DN and right tackle. CJ Drake, uh, our D tackle and left guard, and Andrew Gilbert, our center, and also flips over and plays nose guard as well on defense. Um, you know, we, uh, my first time this year to have a, a full off season with our guys, it's been a good off season. Uh, we really hit the weight room hard. You know, I got hired last year and got in the building on May 1st, turned around three days later and started spring ball. We were just trying to trying to catch up and get as much done as we possibly could as fast as we could do it. Been really good this year to actually get an off season with the guys and get our culture set the way we want it and, and get in that weight room and build some strength and some size. And we feel good about that, where we're at with that. Um, and our guys got a rude awakening last year to the new region that we moved up to, going from 4A to 5A. Um, and the style of football is different. I mean, Coach Cagle's sitting up here. I mean, it's smash mouth football in our region, you know, with Walker Valley in there with Ray County as well, uh, McMinn County. Um, so it was a big style of football that changed that we have to adapt to and our kids kind of know what's up ahead of them this year. Um, we got a challenge with our schedule, only four home games. We're going to be road warriors this year. Uh, we're going to Marion County week two on the road, then Franklin County. So back to back weeks of central time zone games, um, getting home late. Uh, our guys, I mean, we've talked about it all year and preparing for that. So. We know what's ahead of us and we know kind of where we need to be and what we got to get to. So we're just, like I said, this off season been really working to get there. And at this time, you know, we'll take questions. Please ask these kids questions. They heard Chick-fil-A, they're ready to go eat. I brought three linemen up here. Your schedule, non-region, you mentioned Marion County and uh, Franklin, and so uh, a pretty tough non-region schedule. Oh, yeah, and also Sevier County coming down. Um, and Sevier County had a really good team last year. Uh, they're a big physical football team. They got a running back transferred in from, I believe, Gatlinburg Pittman. That was a big-time uh, rushing guy last year with all kinds of yards, and they got a quarterback. That was a freshman last year, uh, threw for a lot of yards, and I think he picked up an offer for Virginia Tech. So we're gonna be challenged there in our non-region schedule for sure. We open up with Hickson as well, our first home game of the year next Friday. And they have a good football team. Coach Rivers done a good job there. They're coming by later today. Um, they, I believe they won eight ball games last year. So they're a football team that's uh, got a new coach last year, and they're also on the rise as well. So we're gonna be challenged in our non-region as well, definitely. Uh, Coach, when, when you have a team that goes up to 5A now, what's something in your mindset that has to change on that level? The main thing that sticks out to me is just weight room and, and player development. Because um, we're playing teams, you know, we've been historically been in 4A for a long time. Um, I knew we had to get our roster numbers up and get some more depth. You know, last year I took 36 kids to the first round playoff game against Oak Ridge. Um, this year our roster is up to about 72 kids right now. So. We've got some kids out. We've got uh, some player buy-in, some commitment. So we feel good about where we're at as far as just getting the numbers up in the program to get us prepared and get us ready for the season. Because it takes a lot of depth to make it through a season, especially a schedule that we have. And we didn't have that depth last year. And for you guys as the players, what does that mean having a deeper roster and knowing there's, there's more guys around you uh, when you go out there each Friday night? Um, I just think it's a big deal, like, coming into practice Having like a more depth scout team, better players, helps us prepare for the games a little bit better. And then going up to games, we have people on the sidelines cheering for us, having more players. It just brings the spirits up, helps us play a lot better. Which game are you guys most looking forward to to, just to play? Who, who's that team on the, the schedule that stands out for you? Um, honestly, you know, we always look forward for the next game. So whoever we're looking forward to playing next, which would be Hickson, so we're really ready to play against them and showcase our talents to everybody for the first opening game. Good deal. Thank you very much. Appreciate you guys having us. Thank you. Thank you very much.